Welcome back pre-k friends. Miss Nina and I are here to do a craft with you. Mm -hmm. oh, would you like to introduce it Miss Nina? Sure I will. Uh, friends do you notice something about Miss Joyce and I? We have something that is the same on us. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. What is the same? What are we wearing? We've got our masks on. Do you notice they look the same? <laughs> That's good. Do you know what something different is about Miss Joyce and I? Hmm. She's wearing glasses. That's right. I'm not wearing my glasses today. So we're different. She has glasses. I don't. We have the same masks. Hmm. So we also have the same coffee filter. Have you ever seen a coffee filter? They look like this standing up. Maybe your adult drinks coffee and they make coffee and they use this. Well, we can also use this to do a craft project. So what we're going to do today is make coffee filter leaves. Isn't that funny? Leaves, like the ones we've been looking at and collecting. Leaves just like this. We're going to make them using our coffee filters and something that we haven't worked with yet our watercolor paints. Now, watercolor paints can be tricky. There is a certain way you're supposed to use them and we're going to learn about that way first. So, first you're gonna open up your watercolors. There's a little tab. You can pick that up and you can see them. Yep, a paint and a brush. And right now your paint, it's dry. You can touch it, see? What makes your paint stick to your paper is water. Water, that's right. Water so will nice. make it stick. Okay. So, get your brush wet. So water, paint, and then your paper. And that's, you can even say that in your head, boys and girls. Water, paint, and sometimes you're going to have to really push your paintbrush in there until you can start seeing it change. Water, paint, paper, paper. Water, paint, paint, paper. Mrs. Tina, that's called self-talk. Did you know that? <laughs> I do. Self-talk. So you're telling yourself what you need to do. You need to your water, your paint, paint, and your paper. paper. So you can say it out loud like Miss Joyce and Miss Tina are doing, or you can say it to yourself inside inside what? your brain. Ready? Paint, paper. I said it out loud, Miss Joyce said it in her head. Water, paint, paper. There we go. And I'm painting my coffee filter. So Miss Joyce and I are going to keep doing this. Water, paint, paper. You keep doing this and when you come back we're going to have our coffee filters all painted and dried and then we're going to do the next step. Okay? Water, paint, And we're back. <laughs> Hi friends. Through the magic of video. Can you hear it? It's dry. Yes. Dry and crinkly like a dried leaf. That's which is right. what which is what we're gonna make. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So when we went on our leaf walk, we saved some of our leaves. Of course you can always go back outside and get yourself another one. And I found this pretty leaf, orange. Maple leaf, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and my maple leaf is kind of green, orange, and yellow. Then I have this one, I think it's from a hydrangea bush, actually, not mm -hmm. a tree. It does. Mm -hmm. yeah. so that's nice. I think I might be able to fit both of them on, but for now, I'm just going to put one on. And you're going to take your crayon or your pencil, whichever one you'd rather use. And here comes the fun part. We're going to trace it. So. Adults, you might need to help your kiddo do this. 
we're going to trace our lead. And tracing is when you go and write around an item. So what Miss Tina's doing is she's tracing around her leaf to draw the outline of the leaf. And parents, it does not have to be exact. I'm actually going wide around the leaf to help those kiddos cut. There's a lot of ins and outs on this one. So for our more advanced kiddos who can cut, this might be a good idea. For our younger kiddos, maybe one with just rounded edges would be helpful. All right, so here we go. My thumb is up, fingers in the back. Other hand is holding the paper. And there we go cutting. Can't wait to see the wonderful colors that you put on your leaf. Coffee filter. Here is Miss Joyce. And if you remember in the book Leaves, in the book it described the vein of the leaf. So oh, yeah. if you'd like to take your pencil or your crayons and make the vein the ribs of your leaf to kind of give it a little more realistic look. You're definitely welcome to do that. Almost done. Mm -hmm. ah. Ta -da. Ta -da. So we're going to take our leaves and we're going to hang them up next to our sun catchers. We'll show you a picture of what it looks like. Hi friends. Hi Arthur. Do you want to see our coffee filter leaves? Ooh. There they are. Right next to our leaf collage. <laughs>